Bitch dependency is no laughing matter. Addiction to a bitch can fuck with your friends, your health, and scary enough, even your money. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Zeph from Cruise Customs back here for another video. Today we are working on the baby blue Jetta. Today we got a bunch of stuff to get done on the car. First of all, we're going to take care of getting these aluminum pieces that I've waited over a month for onto the vehicle. Make sure those pieces are all buttoned up and all that good stuff so we can get that good and out of the way. Now, the main part of today's video is we are going to be putting an oil cooler in the car. Now we gotta figure out exactly how we're gonna do that and how we're gonna mount that because the system is a little bit uh, weird. I've seen a couple of people do it on a video on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Do this oil cooler kit in different ways. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it for myself. That is gonna be the problem, but we got a factory oil cooler right there as you guys can see. And that's where I'm trying to think about how I'm going to mount this. Do I take the factory oil cooler off or do I leave it? I think the best option for me to do is to leave it. That will actually be a way better option because I've seen people take it off on YouTube videos and it's literally just this long piece of threaded pipe that runs through the middle of it. Taking that little bolt off and taking the factory one off, I have no idea how we're gonna actually sandwich the new sandwich plate on there. So we're just gonna go ahead and sandwich the sandwich plate right on top of this. That'll allow us to run the factory oil cooler and have extra performance cooling oil so in the end i think it works out i went ahead and bought a sheet of metal to be able to work around this oil cooler the oil cooler kit is from mishimoto as you guys can see right here mishimoto parts are the uh, best i guess for performance because they are very expensive it is great to have a bunch of mishimoto parts on my car because that means it's going to be running and lasting longer fingers crossed all these performance parts have a hundred percent lifetime guarantee so even if something were to break get it warranted out boom we're just looking in this kit today another air freshener just like the one we got from the radiator cool cool beans and the fun part oil cooler it's got tire tracks on it looks dope and we got the an fitting lines for this kit that are going to run from the sandwich plate all the way to the oil cooler we got a bunch of sandwich plate adapters got to see which one fits the car to be able to make it work and last but not least what i was trying to figure out how to get the whole time because we need this for future uploads sandwich plate and this is the only sandwich plate that is going to fit the car the way we need it to and have the adapters that we need for the sandwich plate so we ended up going in all out balling out and getting the mishimoto one which I think is fun, it's cool, and it's actually gonna help us out in the long run. What the fuck? This is a sandwich plate right here. So let me go set you guys up and show you guys where we're gonna mount the oil cooler at so you guys can get a rough idea because this is what we're going to need to run the A and Fitty lines to the oil cooler and basically just get an idea of how everything's gonna sit. So let's go take the oil cooler out of the box and mount this stuff up and see how it looks. So guys, to start it off, this is the oil cooler right here. Mishimoto gang gang you know what I'm saying we're gonna go ahead and take this out and this is the oil cooler right here this is all that comes in this little box other than their fancy foam everything is very well shipped in these packages it's just great customer service you know what I'm saying they're always just gonna make sure that they get the parts to you in good working condition and the solid parts. I'm gonna go ahead and call that a win-win. So this right here, the only place that I thought about putting it was under here, like this. I had ideas of trying to put it in front of the bumper. I was like, that's 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 just too much for the build that we're going. If it was a crazy build and it was out of the way, I had a bunch of air on the car, this oil cooler would definitely look cool on the front bumper in some type of way. But just putting it on the front bumper, that's too out there, you know what I'm saying? And I also had the idea, hmm, maybe when we do the whole intercooler setup put this in front of the intercooler but again no space inside of the bumper to do that everything would have to be outside of the bumper so i was like you know what that idea off the table and then i watched a few youtubers go ahead and try to do this themselves on where to mount this because i just wanted to get an idea of where to mount this i didn't need to know how to do it i just needed to know where to mount this on this car i went ahead and did that and everybody seems to mount them sideways on the inside right here 
But for me, that's just not gonna work because my problem is actually getting airflow to the oil cooler because that's where you get the performance out of it. It's actually having airflow to the oil cooler. So with this, we're gonna go ahead and use those aluminum plates of metal or pieces, the sheets. Go ahead and cut out a template and get something to where we can attach it down here. So the A and Fitty lines are gonna be up top. We're gonna do that so that it's not fighting gravity. And that should hopefully make this super functional. So let's go ahead and get that sandwich plate on, put the A and Fitty lines and get an idea of where it's gonna sit so we can go ahead and make this plate. So guys, this right here is the sandwich plate itself. It's literally just gonna go right on here. And we actually got some pretty cool adapters to go ahead and throw them on there. So we're just gonna go ahead and tap this in and see what it looks like and then go ahead and get a oil filter and attach it as well just so we can get an idea of what the space looks like right here so let's go ahead and get it done So guys, I went ahead and went and grabbed the AN lines. These are the two lines right here. We got it in and out. So guys, this is one line right here. It's actually pretty, pretty decent. Got Mishimoto markings all over it. It's an AN line. And this is a really good looking AN line. So we can't mess this up. Basically guys, this short end right here fits onto these adapters that screw into the sandwich plate right here. And then we just tighten this onto there. We need to know the height in which these are gonna be sticking up so that we can make the bracket to where this will be free from being hit or tapped on or anything like that. So guys, let's go ahead and throw on these fittings onto the sandwich plate itself. That'll actually get us started very close to where we need to be and get this going. Guys, these lines are very long. I'm gonna probably have to end up opening these up myself, cutting them down to size, and then putting the ends back on and making it work on this oil cooler. So this right here, it's probably where we're gonna stop right now. We're just gonna leave that sitting up here and we're gonna go ahead and throw all these aluminum pieces on the car just so we can get that out of the way and then come back to this once we figure out a plan on how we're going to get this right so guys these are going to be the pieces right here for the aluminum kit we need this we've been waiting on this piece right here for a minute this we do not need so we're just going to throw that stuff this into the box and we're going to use this stuff i have actually no idea where this goes but i guess we're going to find that out right now but this piece right here is mainly what we were worried about because this is what we need to be able to throw in those two things so this is the coolant distributor the temperature sensor goes in right here and this distributes the coolant to different parts of the motor this right here are heater core ends and that's what we need to be able to go ahead and attach the heater core down to this distributor so we're going to go ahead and get this placed in right now it goes right about there and then we can connect up all this stuff and actually have that coolant line running out hopefully it makes it a lot easier to hopefully get the front end put back together on the car and that's mainly what i was hoping for with getting the sandwich plate in is that it kind of fixes doing all the front end of the motor stuff so i need to figure out what i'm going to do about these long an lines we're going to shorten it up quite a bit to be able to get this oil cooler to run properly but yeah let's go ahead and get these in let's go All right guys, now that we finished getting those aluminum pieces in, we are chilling. We got the heater core lines running with the new aluminum ends. That should make sure that there is no cracks when it comes to the ends themselves. It means if we ever have to replace anything, it's just going to be those hoses. But guys, Peep, she's coming together very well. I'm actually very proud. We are still waiting for that turbo intake to come in. But other than that, we are good. Now we can finish up trying to install this oil cooler. As you guys saw where we left off was these lines with the sandwich plate. <sighs> a little upset, Fuel Fest was today and I didn't have my car, so I wasn't going, but just a little pressed. Kind of wanted to meet Vin Diesel, just a little bit, just a little bit. But you know, all good things happen to those who wait. So 
in the future we'll definitely be able to meet up with vin diesel and everybody in the fast and furious crew um but right now we're just a little pressed it's okay it's, it's okay we got a broken car dang anyways guys let me get back to it let me grab this oil cooler and this sheet of metal and let's start lining and measuring stuff up let's go i ain't gonna lie guys it's pretty hard to line this thing up when the lines aren't the length they're supposed to be yesterday we left off mounting this thing up i actually didn't get a chance to record measuring everything out and making the template i drew out the template i just haven't cut it out yet because the camera did die it was it was very sad the camera died and it got very dark very quick so it's a good thing that we get to start today with a new day and get this all said and done. So I already drew out on the sheet of metal a little template that we made. I don't know how strong this is going to be. A little som som, you know what I'm saying? Let me show you guys this real quick. So I made this little template. These are going to be what we're going to screw in on the actual frame of the car. And this is going to be like the cradle, I guess you could say, that's going to hold the oil cooler together mine made it a little bit bigger than i needed to but this is just a cutout template so we know exactly what we're going to be making regardless though we're going to cut this out and then start bending it onto that and we still gotta cut those lines up to where they're going to be nicely tucked and clean but i wonder exactly how we're going to make this work because we are going to have an intercooler and that intercooler is going to end up going above here and down there and to wrap around the front just so we know where we're going to mount these lines once we cut them because i could let them run through underneath the frame like i was planning on or i can run them over and overlap on the other side of the frame so i guess we're gonna have to figure that out right now it's a test fit and then next video we're gonna go ahead and put that intercooler in guys we're gonna start off by cutting this up hi right, y'all we cut the template out this is what it's looking like right now Kind of looks kind of funky because of the triangles at the end but we are going to see how strong this is going to be when holding this up because what i'm going to actually do is wrap it around the bottom of this and then i'm going to make like a triangle shape right here so it makes gives it extra rigidity going up and then i'm going to cut across go up and then it's going to bolt into here for this bolt down here and then we're going to make something that supports the top of it to go across so that is the plan we'll see how this goes let's take these an fitting lines off of here and start bending guys so i came up with this and i mean it's not bad it's not bad look this is what i came up with but at the same time these are very flimsy so that means there's going to be a lot of movement which is what we don't need we don't need any movement so i'm sitting here trying to think what do i do what do i do so guys, so these are what I came up with. They kind of look like swans made out of uh, steel. But regardless, this is gonna be our plates that we're going to use to mount this so that there isn't really any flex. So I'm gonna mount this on the outside of the aluminum and this will hopefully help keep hold this thing together. Fingers crossed. All we can do is hope. All I gotta do is drill holes now and see where we're gonna mount this. I was looking at everything and it's not gonna work the way I want it to. So this, me wanting it to put it diagonal is not gonna work with the way it sits and how low it sits after i just looked at what it looks like we're just gonna have to go in straight you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna cut this up and delete this and kind of just make it this and then use those steel brackets to basically hold it up as best as can i got bolts and stuff so that's good we can drill holes so i'm gonna drill holes on these real quick not gonna record it because it should be pretty simple i just gotta dot these up drill and then put some bolts in that's all we need to do so I'm gonna get that started real quick and hopefully get this drilling process done before it gets dark and then we'll catch up tomorrow. So guys, we are starting off where we left off yesterday. I got everything put together as you guys saw in the clip before. I told you guys I was gonna put this all together. I bolted it everything together. It's actually pretty strong once I get everything in. I want you guys to see this room. All right guys, so this is what I came up with. This right here. And it's actually pretty strong. It won't move around a lot once it's bolted in. There's a lot of rigidity. All right guys, so this is where I left off yesterday. I got it in the spot that it's going to be sitting in. Now all we gotta do is finish mounting it and then cut the lines so that they can fit on the AN fittings. So let's go ahead and see if I got the right bolts. I had to go buy bolts because everything that I got was bigger than the hole that was created. So, you know, it's not gonna work. I mean, the bolts were smaller than 
what the size of the hole that was created. So like, I don't know, but I got bolts. We went and caught some at the local hardware store and we're gonna see because I got them with washers and stuff. So there's extra rigidity if I can fit it. And yeah, basically we're just gonna see how this goes. So I'm gonna try finish, try to finish mounting this and get it all good. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Guys, so I'm doing a little bit of crackhead engineering. This right here, I shoved some paper towel in here to make it sit up top. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it to the drill. I just tested this theory. This is very useful if you don't have like a press or anything. So we're literally just gonna jack this up to where the bolt hole is. Okay, and just like that guys, we did it. We pressed the bolt into the hole and screwed it in. So now it has threads. Nice. All right guys, it is now time to cut these lines. So let's measure them out and get them cut it so we can stick them back in the A and fittings and get this all put together. Got now, so let's go ahead and take this tape off and get them in the A and fittings. Let's go. All right, guys, she is all mounted up in side of there she actually looks pretty decent not gonna lie did a pretty darn good job now what i did as you guys saw was put a metal zip tie here and just to help keep it secure in this area all right guys well this is where i'm gonna end off the video we got the oil cooler mounted in we might have some issues when it comes when we go ahead and put on that inner cooler but fingers crossed we don't and everything mounts up right if anything we're gonna have to weld and that's gonna be scary uh we're gonna have to go get more stuff welded because um yeah, but regardless, fingers crossed everything works out and it doesn't have to go through the oil cooler. You know what I'm saying? But I think we did a pretty darn good job for what it is. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. We got this oil cooler in. That's a great accomplishment. <laughs> I could say so myself, but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. Please like, share, and subscribe down below. And it has been your boy Zeph from Cruise Customs and I'm out. Peace.